So when do we use targeted therapy for follicular lymphoma? Well, the easy answer right now is in second line. We've got uh, the augment study, which is lenalidomide in combination with rituximab, which led to a significant improvement in progression-free survival over rituximab monotherapy, but also an improvement in overall survival for the follicular lymphoma patients enrolled on that study. And if you think about a disease where the natural history is 20 plus years, that's impressive. And that third line or later space, it gets a little bit more complicated, but targeted therapy is my answer. You've got EZH2 inhibitor, tazimetastat for the mutant population, but it also works in the wild type population and the safety profile is so favorable that you could consider that if you don't have an alternative option. You've got the PI3 kinase inhibitors. Um, so we saw parcyclisib data emerge here, which the efficacy looks quite good. And with different dosing strategies, you may mitigate some of the toxicity that have plagued some of the PI3 kinase inhibitors. And we've got CAR-T, so we saw an update to Zuma 5 here where the median PFS looks pretty quite impressive in a very high risk more heavily pretreated population. And then lastly, we saw updates to bispecifics and most intuzumab is likely gonna get FDA approved for the management of flick lymphoma. So now how will we sequence and as the length of all of these, uh, the list of therapies continues to grow, and how do we help the average clinician figure out how to use these new treatments?